In this video today, I'm going to take a look at this Amazon Fire tablet, which has no power and won't charge. So this belongs to a friend of mine, and it's his son's. And apparently it's got all of his Minecraft life on there, so he would like to get it working. I'm just going to take it out of its bumper case. First thing I'm going to try is to try and switch it on. Okay, we get the low battery indicator. So that, to me, straight away, points to the charging port. So let's try my trusty USB detector. See if it's drawing any power. No, it is not. So we've got zero amps. Right, so let's work out how we take this thing apart. I think it's one of those prying jobbies. This should be fun. There we go. Wow, that's a big battery. Okay, so let's see if we've got any power in this battery. 3.4 volts, it's very low. So yeah, that's still pointing at the charging port, isn't it? Right, so before I go any further, I'm just gonna disconnect the battery. And let's see if we can get this little motherboard out. Right, okay. Still being held in by this ribbon connector here. And it appears to be attached here, and I don't want to start pulling this because it might uh, it might damage it. And I can't see where it's attached on this side. So I think I'm going to have to work on it as it is, but I think I can get to it. If I get my microscope, I'll see if I can get in there and have a look, see what's going on. Annoyingly, this port actually looks okay. Oh, okay can see it's loose there. So I think it probably needs a new charging port. Yeah, that's knackered. So I've ordered up a replacement port because I don't have any. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and take the original one off. Now, I don't know how easy it's going to be. Don't think I can use hot air because I've got that ribbon cable there, which I can't disconnect because I think I'd have to take the screen out. And I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to try and do it with the soldering iron. I don't know if it's going to be successful, but I'll give it a go. No, I can't do this. Because of the, the, where the board is, it's resting on the plastic, and as you can see, it's starting to only lightly melt the plastic there. I'm going to have to take the screen off. This is a nightmare. Right, I was just messing around with this off camera, and this does actually come off here. It is stuck down, which makes it feel like it's going to rip, but it comes off. So I now have the board out. So that should make it a little bit easier to work on. Let's see if I can get rid of some of this solder. Right, I'm really struggling with this. I've got some low melt solder paste and I'm gonna try and see if I can mix that in with, with the solder that's already there. I'm not sure it's gonna work. Oh, I think that does actually look better. Right, I think that's as much of that as I'm going to get off. Let's flip it over and have a look at the other side. Uh, I'll just do the same on this side. Right, I'm a bit worried now because I've just found these two components on this board holder and I've just found another one. Oh dear. I think this board holder has, has ripped them off. 
But where have they come from? Okay, well, I'm guessing that little BGA chip is from there. Tremendous. Uh, we've got a missing component here. And also looks like one from there. Yeah, it's damaged all of these components. I'm really, really annoyed. I can't tell if there's anything else missing. You'd like to think it was very similar to this one. That, I think, is still there, that little capacitor. Whether it works or not, looks like it's been damaged. Well, for something that I thought wasn't going to take me very long, this is turning into an absolute nightmare. Right, I'm not overly convinced by that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I've got them in the right place. But this is a ball grid array and I'm not sure whether it's going to be making a good connection. That one looks okay there, but I don't know whether there should have been something here. I'm hoping not. And then this destroyed capacitor here I'm hoping isn't important, but it might be. I'll get the, the charge put off and I know to revisit that area if there's still a problem. Alright, let's do this and let's hope for the best. It came off. Well, it doesn't look like I've melted anything, so that's good. Right, well, I think we're all ready there for the uh, replacement, so I'll get that ordered and then try and pop it on. I just hope that I haven't caused any permanent damage down on this other side of the board. But we'll see. Um, if it doesn't work, then I can concentrate my efforts down here, can't I? It's a few days later now, and the charge ports have arrived. I've ordered two, just in case I mess it up. They were only a couple of pounds from eBay. Okay, so let's offer this up and see if it's going to fit. The problem I've got is that I can't see the pins under the microscope. I'm going to have to rotate it. Okay, I think that's as good an angle as any. It's just had a bit of fluxage. Looks like a lot, but it's not. Don't forget, this thing is tiny. Oh, this, this solder is terrible. bought this solder off eBay. It's supposed to be 63.37, I think it is. And it's 0.5 mil. I thought I'd get some thinner one. But it's terrible. It's making an absolute mess. And I don't struggle like that with the, with the Weller one. So, you know, a, a bad workman blames his tools, but Jesus, I can't work with this. It's just... I, I don't know. It's supposed to be leaded, but I'm, it can't be. It's terrible. It's going in the bin. That's what solder's supposed to do. That's the Weller one that I have been using, and it's much, much better. Yeah, moral of the story, kids, don't buy solder off eBay. Just like factory, but a bit blobbier. I'm a bit worried about this other side now, because they use that rubbish solder on it. Yeah, it doesn't look great, that, does it? Well, if they're on and connected, then it doesn't really matter. 
All right, they all seem to be solid. Not a very pretty, pretty job at all. I'm blaming the solder. <laughs> right, let's try and put this back together. And there we go, there's the port, all nice and new. Well, new anyway. So let's see if we're getting any amp draw now. Yes we are. And we've got the charging symbol on the screen. Booyah! Right, I'm gonna leave that to charge for a bit and we'll see what happens. It still might not come on because of all those components that were uh, damaged. <laughs> well, it switched itself on. And it has indeed come on. Battery's at 1%. Right, well, I'm going to leave it. It says it's charging. Let's leave it and see if indeed it is. One hundred. Right, so there we go. It reached 100%. Let's pull that out. It seems to be working just fine. Okay, so I thought it was working. But if you look at this, there are gaps in this line. So for example, you cannot press F. It either presses G or D, or both. Oh dear. I wonder if that's that component All right, so back down looking at this, and the more I think about it, the more I think that this is is just a filter or, or something. I, I, well, I don't know, but neither of those are connected to ground. It's just sort of in line, but it does go into this, this chip. And I don't think this has got anything to do with the touchscreen, I've got to be honest. Hello, no voiceover Stephen here. Touchscreen connector is here. Let's just turn this idiot down for a second. So you would have thought that this... That's better. I googled this area up and it is in fact the audio circuit, hence why there are two areas that look identical. Presumably one for the left channel and one for the right channel. Now the audio was working, so I actually think my bodge repair was okay. And it also means that the touchscreen issue is nothing to do with what the board holder did, or at least it's nothing to do with that area. So anyway, let's get on with watching this buffoon one to put there because it's got to be the same one okay all right so let's try and get this little capacitor off and it is little in fact it's minuscule i think it's a 402 I don't think I'm going to be able to measure that, it's so small, but I'll try. I suppose the problem with this is if it pings off, I've got no chance, and then I'm missing two. 0 0.13? 0 0.13 nanofarad? I'm going to put that back on before I lose it. Just before I put it back on, I just wanted to show you the size of it. Yeah, it's pretty small. Right, while I'm here, I'm going to take this BGA off.
Ah, oh, there's a rip trace there. Ah. Oh. Is that a ripped pad? That must have been from when it was damaged, I didn't notice it. But it just joins to the other one, doesn't it? So is that... Is that going to be a ground? Am I going to be lucky there? Oh, it's a ground. <laughs> Thank God for that. Right, so that shouldn't make any difference. Correct me if I'm wrong. But with it being connected to the other one and it's a ground, that should be okay. Because of the size of this and my current skill level, I don't fancy reballing this. Those balls actually look okay. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think it's anything to do with the touchscreen. I think I'm just going to pop it back on. Okay, so, so by my reckoning... 0.130 nanofarad is 130 picofarad. Is that right? Luckily, I do have some 120 picofarad 0402 capacitors, so I'm just going to pop one of them on and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's not even an 0402. What size is that then? I knew it was small, but good grief. 0402, it'd be 0201. Is that... Is this going to fit? I'm pretty sure there are people out there saying, what on earth are you doing, Stephen? But hey, I'm doing it. I make no bones about the fact that I have got no idea what I'm doing. Right, well that appears to be soldered on. Right, let's pop that back together then, see if it explodes. Right, okay, that's it. Almost fully back together. Let's try and turn it on now. Good. It still still wants to come on. Uh, I think it's got the same problem. When you're dragging that up there, when you get to a certain point, it, it disappears. Okay, let's try... Well, I know the F wasn't working, so let's try F. Nope. Still not working. T isn't working, F isn't working. If anybody watching has got any experience with uh, these devices, please let me know if you've got any suggestions. Is it the touch... I mean, I don't know. This thing could have already been broken when when it came to me. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the touchscreen was, was fully functional. It's possible it, just, it needs a new touchscreen. It's nothing to do with anything that I've done. But I still feel bad. So if anyone's got any suggestions... Please, please let me know in the comments. So, I repaired the, the fault that it came to me with, which was the charge port. It charges fine. I got it up to 100%. It's on. It works of a fashion. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy with, with the outcome. So, thank you very much for watching. If indeed you still are, I'll see you on the next one. I really want to have another look at it.